Masters of the Air has explored some of the darkest missions and situations that the 100th Bomb Group went through throughout seven episodes. It is perhaps best that the series passed over one mission in particular due to a time leap in the seventh episode. The troops of the 100th had witnessed several terrifying and deadly missions since the first episode, including those at Regensburg, Munster, and most recently, Berlin. These missions portray the desolate aspects of the 100th, but it turns out that the show is hiding even more of it. Welcome back to Heavy Breakdowns, everyone. On Black Thursday, why did Masters of the Air skip over? Black Thursday was probably left out of Masters of the Air because the show wanted to keep the plot moving forward. After all, it is so comparable to earlier losses of the 100th Bomb Group. Among the other fatal missions the 100th flew, Black Thursday does not stick out all that much, but it is another excellent example of the heavy damage the unit received throughout 1943. For instance, the fact that Regensburg is going to Africa makes it noteworthy, but Munster is noteworthy because Major John Egan is taken prisoner of war and light. Colonel, Rosenthal is the only pilot who made it back to base. Even if Black Thursday could have been incorporated in Masters of the Air Episode 6, it probably would have made things go more slowly. The sixth episode should have been devoted to investigating the cast of Masters of the Air, rather than just flying tasks. In addition to learning about the mental conditions of Major Harry Crosby and Rosenthal, audiences had to observe what happened to Major John Egan following the Munster raid. Thus, a more leisurely episode 6 advanced the plot far more than a riskier mission such as Black Thursday might have. Master of the Air's good skipped Black Thursday, in the end, it's a good thing that Masters of the Air skipped over Black Thursday since it kept the plot moving and preserved some semblance of optimism. Even if the narrative of the 100th bomb group is depressing and seems to become worse with every episode, adding Black Thursday to the already depressing tale would have been superfluous. Masters of the Air would become too challenging to watch at a certain point if the series continued to feature only the most significant terrible moments for the 100th. Despite its sinister moniker, Black Thursday is an important operation for the 8th Air Force, thus it's better that Masters of the Air didn't depict it. The show managed to stay lighthearted while making good use of the additional time by delving into the characters' emotions. In addition to bringing viewers closer to the actors, this helped set the stage for the dramatic conclusion that is likely to come. Though it was a good idea to skim over Black Thursday to make Masters of the Air exciting, it should still be recognized. I'll be posting more theories soon, and I hope you enjoyed these. I appreciate you watching. Be on the lookout for the next big surprise.